I mean, this is the elephant in the room, and that is the fact that the European Union is falling behind when it comes to innovation. I mean, the European Union right now is producing uh, green legislation, I think. They're, they're trying to regulate more when it comes to the farmers. This is why you have uh, so many protests in the EU. But it's not just with farmers or automobiles. It's uh, also in the field of technology, right? Uh, like right now, everyone is trying to get their AI programs going. So so you have the United States with open AI. Uh, China is trying to make its own AIs. Uh, meanwhile, the European Union is just regulating. Like, like is there an, an AI project within the European Union? Because if it is, I'm not familiar with it. But, you know, it's the same with social media. Like, like there is no social media that, that is based in the EU, which is mainstream, is there? But, but they're like so hyper-focused on regulating it. I, I mean, they were talking about banning Twitter, right? It's absolutely ridiculous and it, it shames me to be a member of the European Union. It's, it's like, I, I, I wish that they would do more. I, I wish that they would consider innovating uh, rather than legislating. And, you know, when you look at the trends, it, it kind of makes sense, right? Like, like what is uh, th this whole thing with gender research? Well, it, it, it's people that make regulations at companies, right? It's like the HR lady, the, the one that uh, says the corporate culture. Like, this is where people are going. They're not going to nuclear research. No, they, they want to be in charge of uh, deciding who gets to go to nuclear research or not. And once they're there, what they can and can't talk about, right? Now, again, uh, I, I don't have, like, a doctor with a lab coat sitting behind me. I don't have statistics or surveys, but uh, I do have personal observations. And I, I think I know why this is a thing. Um, when I grew up, the culture, the mentality that existed in Romania, and apparently it also exists in other places, is that uh, you need to study hard in order to avoid doing manual labor. So, so the idea of like manual labor is viewed as a negative thing. It's, it's for the people that didn't manage to study or weren't smart enough to go to a university, right? The people who are lazy to study are the ones that do manual labor. This is the culture that was ingrained into me when I was a child. And you go to high school and you notice that some subjects are more difficult than others, right? So math, and science were the most difficult ones. It was very difficult to get a A plus in math. Like if you got an A plus in math, everyone was giving you a standing ovation. It's like wow. Uh, but there were other studies that weren't as difficult. Like for instance, uh, we did philosophy in high school, and almost everyone got an A plus in that. You just like memorize some shit, and then you repeated it, and it's like oh congratulations, right? Um, history was somewhere in between. Like you have to remember the dates, and you had to remember some names. But overwhelmingly, it was the same thing. Like, you you recite something, and then you tell it back to the teacher, and, oh, congratulations, that's a great job, right? Meanwhile, when it came to science, when it came to mathematics, like, you already had to memorize the mathematical formula, and then you had to know when to apply it and solve the problem. So, so it was incredibly difficult. And you needed to have, like... Uh, minute attention to detail to make absolutely sure that you don't mistake a single calculation like, like this was much more difficult than all the other things right <clears throat> so when you finish high school uh, a lot of people like myself were ingrained with the culture that you need to do a university well now you have different choices like you can go to a university that's actually difficult like nuclear physics or you can go to gender studies. It's like, what the fuck is gender studies? I mean, the, the teacher tells you some shit and you tell them back. I mean, it's gender. How complicated must it be, right? And the reality is that it's not complicated. It's actually incredibly simple. I, uh, For those of you who don't know, I graduated to university. I finished med school and I finished law school. And I also had friends that did go to these grievance studies. Um, and, and they were constantly complaining that, oh my God, it's so difficult. Like, do you know how difficult it is? Like, okay, show me. Show me what your teacher teaches you. And I'm like, oh, the, the, the patriarchy is just uh, capitalism. Like, how, how can you possibly not get an A-plus on this? How can you possibly, like, you, you can take a moron 
Like, uh, one of the worst morons imaginable and then let them read that shit for 10 minutes and they will be able to reproduce it exactly. Is, and yet you, you tell me that is difficult? Like, let me show you some of the stuff that we learned at uh, med school. Let me show you some amino acids and stuff. And, and memorize this and, and then do a comparison, right? So, so basically what, what it does is that, again, like, like the mentality is that you need to make a university. doesn't matter which, just graduate something, and then you become an intellectual, right? But, but unfortunately, not all universities are the same. Like, like a, a nation, uh, let, let me put it this way, right? Imagine you have two plane crashes on an island, right? And in one plane crash, you have like only gender studies experts. And on another plane crash, you have like uh, only engineers, Question, uh, which one of the two islands do you think is going to fare better? Right? Like, like, uh, maybe you have agricultural engineers. Let's put it like this, right? So you have agricultural engineers that land on an island. And, it, and you have, like, gender studies majors that they're both smart people. I mean, they're, they're both, like, the peak excellence that our humanity can offer, right? Like, they, they finished the university. They're, they're well-educated. They're the intelligentsia. They're people smarter than us. But I have a feeling... That, that, that one of these individuals are going to be useful in creating or, or surviving on the island, let's put it like that, while, while the other people are going to struggle. But I guess like the, the people on the second uh, plane, you know, the ones that are well versed into the mysteries of gender, uh, well, once the first island is, is going to be prosperous, they, they can come over there to regulate and they can come over there to legislate. And be like, oh, well, we don't like the way you're handling the island. Let, let us tell you how to do it. And pay us a lot of money while doing it, right? And this is why I, I think, like, it's, it's a symptom. It's not the problem. But it's a symptom why the European Union is starting to fall behind. It's falling behind in technological achievements. It's uh, falling behind, I mean, on almost every metric. Compared to the United States. Compared to China. And it is incredibly concerning. Because I live here. If I didn't live here, I would have find it hilarious. You know, like, oh, these people, they, instead of focusing on, on, on making something and creating stuff, they're, they're regulating the stuff that other people make. I mean, that's nice, you know, but like everyone can regulate. Like, it, it doesn't take Einstein to know how to regulate. I'm pretty sure that people 2,000 years ago were regulating as well. Like, it, But to actually build something, to actually create something, to actually make something, that, that's difficult. And that takes skill. But yeah, um, anyway, let me know what you guys think, and if you like the channel, and you would like to support moi, if you scroll down into the pinned comment, there's a link, which takes you to my subscribe star. If you click that, you get the best buyer's remorse on the internet. I guarantee. Just click that link, see what happens. I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.